Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Let me know if you can hear me. So Thai 777 or Thai yes, if you can see my face, you can hear me for this live training. All right, so welcome to Ecom Club. Okay, for those who are new to here, this is my warm welcoming to you guys because for the past seven days, this group have grown like nearly 120 new members. So that's why I'm really, really curious. I'm really curious how many of you guys here are really, really new uh, to this group, right? So let me start a very, very quick vote here. Okay, so please keep the comment box active. Keep the comment box active so that more people are gonna see the training, all right? Because you know, Facebook, there's something called algorithm, right? How the algorithm work is, the more people engage with your post, the more people comment, like, or share on your post, the higher chance that your post will get more people to see it. The same when you guys try to manage your video page. Okay, this is a tip, this is a tip for you guys. The same when you guys try to manage your video page, your Instagram account, even your YouTube account. You need to make sure that how can I get more people comment, like, and share on your post. So it's really important that you guys know how to do it. So today, today I will show you guys some tricks and some hacks that you can increase your engagement. Okay, we work this way for engagement. Like, comment, and share on your post so that you can get more free, what we call free organic reach. Organic, it means that you do not need to pay extra money, but you get more people that interact on your page. If you can master these skills, if you can master these skills, you'll be able to get a lot of free traffic to your store. All right? So do you like it? Do you want me to share this topic? If yes, just tell me some yes in the comment box so I know you guys are interested in it. Because uh, if you can know, if you know, just look at this Facebook group. Just look at this Facebook group. Right now, our Facebook group have more than 5,000 members. And where do I get these 5,000 members? All organic. Okay, I'm not running any paid ad until I reach like 5,000 members. How it works? Basically, I do what I do. I put valuable content on my Facebook, on my Facebook page, as well as inside the group. And you guys like the content, and I'm also doing live training as well. So that's why Facebook know that, okay, this guy is really, really active. These guys have a lot, a lot of friends on Facebook and people love the content produced by this guy. That's why he's gonna recommend and share my post to more and more people around the internet. And because Facebook know what you're sharing, you're talking about e-commerce, you talk about money, you talk about uh, entrepreneurship. That's why Facebook also recommend your post to people who are interested in my content. So when you when I create a Facebook group, Facebook, this Facebook group also recommend to other people who join similar Facebook group. So that's why they see the group, they see my title, they see the topic I'm sharing. So that's why they join the group. Hence, you can see in a group, the engagement is pretty good. We get like around like 50, even 100 comments on uh, every post that we share. And in the live training, we also get like 50, even 70 members on the live. Just because of we try to provide good quality content. And that's why you can get more and more people sign up. The same when you try to manage your Facebook page. You know, for us, I can tell you, for us, our Instagram account, we actually are doing live streaming. Yep, we do live streaming on our Instagram account. We put posts, we do video, we do story as well in, on, our, on, our, on our Instagram account. That's why you can get like 50,000 followers. We have some page actually at 260,000. Yeah, 260K follower on our account. And every single post, we got like thousands of, of likes hundreds of comments just because of what we are doing right now so today i will show you some quick tricks and hacks or strategy that you can try to manage your organic traffic which is your instagram your facebook as well as your figure group right so i hope this will not be too much information for you guys i think i may have never shared it before so this session will be really really just one and only if the value is just overset over delivered i may even remove the replay so that i can keep it Keep it within for my mastermind student. All right, so it's happy that you guys hop on live. So remember that only when you guys hop on the live, you have a chance of learning more stuff. Because if you watch the replay, you'll be distracted. You'll be distracted. There's so many things happening, right? So you may miss the training and there may not be notification after the live is finished. So that's why if you're on the live, you're lucky. Okay, you're lucky. All right, so I see quite a number of 777. We see 22 people here. So we're not gonna wait. We're gonna start the training today, all right? So uh, let me just share my screen with you guys. All right. So wait a moment, I need to share my screen. So uh, yes, uh, if you can see the screen, just to make sure that is it too small or or too big for you guys. 
okay let me know if you can see it uh, yes you can see the screen okay if you guys can see good 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 so uh we have already delivered quite a number of content in this uh what we call uh fridge group so we have covered a lot of things like common mistake of mix uh, uh facebook uh, we cover about finances we cover about, like quite a number of like our winning prototype as well in our previous training right so uh if you guys are new to here you can make, make sure to watch our previous replay uh, in a group okay you can see last time i think like i forgot in a few weeks ago we share about our winning product type you can see watches is doing pretty good t-shirts doing pretty good uh shirt is doing pretty good jesses um uh something like lacknesses sweatshirts is those are the product that we do pretty good as well you can see we've done $4 million in this store. Actually, right now it's more. I mean, right now it's more than $5 million, uh, by the time we, uh, we are doing the live here. So we can see. All right. So you can get to this training. Just watch. Just go back to our, our previous training. You can go to this group. Go to the media session. You're going to find all the replay that we have done. Right. But back to today's training. Uh, today, we're going to cover something called uh, Facebook group. Right. So I'm going to open some shit here. Let's say organic. organic traffic tag all right so i want you guys to 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 learn one thing called let's see i will ask a quick question first how many of you guys already have already like your instagram account you have your instagram account for your page let me for your store type one type one if you do not have your instagram account type two right and and it's important instagram account okay if you have your for your page type one type two if you do not have it right and then and then i want to ask more question another question uh you regular posting stuff on your facebook page or your ig page Regularly, that means at least, at least, okay, at least once a day. Okay, if yes, if yes, give me five. Okay, six if you are not. Okay, oh no, I want to do a quick uh, quick understanding here. Okay, let me see you guys answer. So I see some of you say once, okay, someone do not is not regularly posting. So make sure you guys have the regular posting, right? So for those who are new to here, you just join a live. So today we're gonna cover how you can, how you can increase what we call your organic reach. That means how you're able to get more people visit your store because of uh, what you do with your Facebook page or Instagram posts, right? So let me show you guys something here. Anyone know what is AIDA copywriting? AIDA copywriting. Okay, anyone know what it is? AIDA copywriting. AIDA stands for. Let me let me find a easier version, which is here. Okay, attention, interest, desire, and action. Okay, I want you guys to re remember this. A, I, D, A. Okay try to use this in any of your copywriting so you what it means is you need what grab the attention okay and when you're writing something you need to get the attention first after you get the attention you need to what you need to what? make them make you like the interest in your product or interest in something that you want to say and then create a desire right and then you ask them to take an action you need to use this in every every single of your post for example, our our copywriting in our Facebook our Facebook ad post. Okay, our Facebook ad post. Let's say right now we are selling a t-shirt, a cat t-shirt. Okay, we're selling a cat t-shirt right now. So what I'm gonna say in our sentence is pretty, pretty simple. So we need to grab their attention. How do we grab their attention? The easiest way to grab their attention is to what? Call out their name. Right? On earth. Even for you guys right now, the things or the word that always, always trigger you to get your attention is what? Your name, right? Hey, Louis. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Kenan, right? Why, hey, uh, hey, Veronica. Right? When I just call your name, you guys will, hey, 
who's calling me because in the whole life every single day people are calling your name and you are 100 love your name either you love it or not but you will always focus and aware of who is calling my name if the teacher call your name you're gonna work you hey it's me right so that's why the same when we want to get their attention the best thing is what call to them how to call let's say people who who, who is the one gonna buy a t-shirt the cat t-shirt cat lover right right who's the one gonna buy stuff for their baby mom my mother mom or what or dad uh, usually it's the mom right who gonna buy stuff i don't know for people who love yoga right yoga people who play yoga yoga right that's why when we write the ad copy the first session of the eight part the attention part we're gonna do something called hey pet lover that's it that's how how we write our ad copy the first sentence we're gonna say hey cat lover hey basketball lover right hey new mom right someone who just have a new baby right the same thing you need to call out to them first so that when they see your ad they will know you are talking to me yep very simple you keep it easy hey cat lover hey basketball player hey new mom right then the second thing is what inches i inches what kind of inches okay what kind of inches you want them to see let's say you're selling a t-shirt you should say something that they inches to them let me say okay hey cat lover this cat t-shirt is a must-have for you okay this basketball i don't know t-shirt may look good on you Wait, get the inches say what, what would you mean what, what is a must-have for me create inches create something that they need to think about okay is it me is it about me why me right let make them trigger them right something like this right and then the third part the desire how can you create desire usually the easiest thing is what scarcity scarcity how do you create scarcity that mean what 24 hours only 50 percent off today today right limit to the first i don't know 100 buyers right something that make them trigger that okay my god the sales ends today right sales ends today that's it can you see you go to the street you're gonna see something hey last day promotion right 50 percent off today's only right garage sale only two days right we can sell only right so this is the thing what we call desire right and then you have what the action the call to action very simple very simple click here to grab it now and you put a link right buy it here and you put a link so this is how we write a copywriting we keep it really really simple things other than that you know a lot of people i know they put feature they put what we call benefit that's too much let me tell you it's too much you may say oh this product can you know and then you put a porn form like like oh can clean your xxx right uh super cheap right we ship fast right and then you something like oh, 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 oh. i don't know so many stuff you play you play you put like five ten key points on your ad copy do you know what happened if you do something like this people are gonna read it after they read it oh yo, you're so bored oh i don't like it because you write too many stuff you are no longer interesting them you're no longer creating a desire because you only give them everything the same you have a gift box you have a present do you want to give the present without a packing that means you just have a plastic bag you see through it you can see everything inside the plastic bag or you want to wrap it nicely with a bit bits, right? With something on it. So that people only see that, hey, this is a gift for you. Because it's a birthday. I prepared it from, I don't know, I bought it from, from United States. Only for you, only. Keep it now. See? It all, hey, look at it. This is what I have. I give you a mobile phone. This is the phone you're going to get. Version 1 or version 2. Right? So, if you write too many things, first, your English may not be that good. Second thing, your copywriting can be really, really bad. The more you write, the higher chance you're gonna get banned by Facebook. Because Facebook gonna read every single word you have on your ad copy. If you see you write something that's not good, they will ban your account. Okay, and the more word you have on your ad copy, the, the, the more it trigger, distract the Facebook algorithm. 
because the Facebook algorithm will read every single word on your ad copy and try to determine who is your preferred customer. Right? If you say, oh, he can clean you or something, it's super cheap. He will try to show your product to people who love cheap stuff. He will show your product to people who love fast shipping. He will show your product to people who love cleaning, I don't know, something. But if you keep it simple, just like that, hey, cat lover, this cat t-shirt is a must-have for you, right? It's 50% off today. Click here to grab it. So when Facebook try to analyze your ad copy, they will see, okay, you're selling to cat lover. Check. This is a t-shirt. Check. Okay. And it's a discount today. Check. Done. Click here to grab it. There's no more thing to distract the Facebook AI. And when people read the sentence, very simple. The C is about, for, for me, it's the cat lover. Or oh, this is a cat t-shirt. And it's the, it's the limited sale today. Okay, why don't I click the link and go inside to see what's inside? Then you're going to have more what? You can create more link click. And you're going to create more link click. And then the people are going to what? Going to read your page or website. Going to scroll around on your website. So it will not just go and disappear. But if you do this like this, you have too many things on your ad copy. People will read it. Okay, and then they're not clicking it. On Facebook, it just means that your ad is not good because you cannot trigger people to take extra action on it. So that's why they will be gone. So that's the problem. That's the problem, right? Okay, this is the first things I'm going to show you guys. A-I-D-A. -A. You need to use this in every single post that you write your ad copy. All right? You use this on every single ad copy. Okay, so type 777 you, if you already remember this. If you remember this and you think it's useful for you, type 777 or just type AIDA. Try to remember this word, AIDA. Attention, interest, desire, and what? And action. Okay, so they can remember this subconsciously, right? And after today, or even right now, after the training, try to write it, try to practice it. It's really, really simple. We just keep using this campaign really, really long time for the like past four or five years. We're just using this. And let me tell you, the even simplest version is what we do here. Hey, cat lover, please. Uh, cat rings is is doing fifty percent off, and then I would just say that get it now. We keep it even, even simple, just three sentences. And usually, we we'll just do it really, really simple, right? So the simpler you are, the better the performance, performance, right? So next, so you may say, okay, yeah, now I know how to write my ad copy, but how about my other posts? Can I get more likes and comments? So let me tell you. This is a really, really important policy you guys have to know. A really important policy you guys have to know. You cannot mention. You cannot mention. Remember this. It's really important. You cannot mention anything like, like, comment, share. These three words is banned. It's banned on Facebook when you write anything. When you say anything about, hey, like our post, hey, comment on our post now, hey, share this post. If you say anything like this, you, your post will get bad. Because Facebook do not like people, push people to do action. Especially action on their posts. You can ask them to click the link, which is fine. This, that's the purpose of you want them to go to the website. But if you ask them, hey, like our page to get 50% off. Like, comment here if you're interested, or share this post to, to, to do whatever. You cannot do like this. Facebook will ban your account. You can go ahead and read their policy page, you will get it banned. So really, really be careful. But what other thing I can do then, if I cannot say like, comment, and share, right? You can say something more what? Indirect. Indirect. Tell me, you can say that, tell me what is your favorite color below. This is fine. Yeah, let's say you have you, 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 your products have like four color of for the t-shirt. You can ask them at the end, towards the end, you can ask them, hey, tell me what is your favorite color below. Right? Where are you from? Where are you from? Yeah, where are you from? It's a good one. Where are you from? So that we can check if we can ship the item to you. Right? Give them a reason. Give them a reason. Hey, why you want to ask something? Your purpose is what? To trigger discussion. To trigger discussion. Now, you even like this. Do you like this? Comment. Do you like this? Let us know. Let us know. All right? This is something you can do. This is what you call what? You can get more comments. 
Think about okay, how can I get more comments? Hey, what's your favorite colors? Where are you from? You need to trigger that discussion. Right? Do you like this? Tell us, let us know below. Right? Let us know. Something like that. It's really, really easy. Then you need to think about it and use it, right? So this is how to get more comments. But how about we so we want to what? Get more share. Okay, or tag. If you want more people to share your post, to tag it, even easier. Even easier. What you want to do is say like that. Let your friends know. Do you know any friends that may need this? Right? You may say, oh, yeah, this is so, so straightforward. Yeah, it's straightforward. A lot of people, when they're serving or when they're scrolling up and down on Facebook, they what? They're like, like a zombie. They just scroll up and down, up and down, waiting for what? Waiting for instruction. What's instruction? You are the one who give them instruction. You give them the instruction, then, hey, you can share this post to your friend. Hey, you can let your friend know that we have this product for them. Because when you know when you're on Facebook, when you try to run ad, like say for a cat t-shirt, but your ad may show to people that may not want to buy a cat t-shirt, but they may have friends interested in cat t-shirts. If you mention that, hey, let your friend know about this. Do you know any friend that may like this? Then your, your, this guy may know, okay, I have a friend called Mary. Mary love this. Let me tag Mary on this post now. Yeah, just like this. You can always trigger them, right? Not just on the post. Okay, so let me tell you, this is strategy number one. Let me tell you, the strategy number one, you understand what's AIDA. AIDA, so you make sure you keep your, your ad copy really, really simple. Okay, let's see, don't use this. Okay, don't use the feature. Okay, keep it really, really simple so people are gonna click your website. So after that, after that, you can also add on some bonuses, which is what? How to make sure that they try to re-add on a post. For example, ask them to comment and ask them to share. So let's, let's do a vote. Let's do a vote. Do you think like, comment, and share? One, two, three. Which one is more important on Facebook? One, two, three. Which one is more important on Facebook than it thinks that your post is really, really good? Comment, comment in the, in the, in the, in the post right now, in the, in the chat box. If you understand which one is more important, you kind of become the master of Facebook right now. Let me know. One, two, three. Which one you think is more important to Facebook that your post is really, really good? And then, on Instagram, there's another thing. A, B, C. On Instagram, we have what? We also have like, we have comment, and then we have what? We have something called saves. Right? The same. On Instagram, A, B, C. Like, comment, save. Which one is more important on Instagram that it will give you more trigger, give you more organic traffic? Okay? Dio, say three. Jo 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 joke. Okay? Say two or three. Free. Okay, so most of you guys say free. No. Sorry, it's not share. The most important factor that Facebook think is actually comment. Ask yourself, just, just ask yourself, do you think like a post is easier, comment is easier, or share is easier? Which one take you longer time to do it? What Facebook want you to do? Do you know what Facebook want you to do? Facebook has just one really concept. Facebook want you to spend more time on it. So, one, two, three, which one spend you the most time? Like less than zero point one second. Share, even easier. Click share now, done. But you comment, you need to click the comment box, you read through the comments, and then you put the comment. Which one spend you more seconds, more time? Definitely, it's comment. Even you go to a post, you go to a random post, you're going to see that usually the ratio of like, comment, and share is always, there's so many like, there's a lot of share, but only a little bit of comment. So what it means, the more comment you get on your post, the more powerful that post is, the more engagement it is, then the high chance it gives more what? Free reach. And there's a lot of people do not know this concept. You need to know that you want to trigger more comments. You can see, that's why when I, when I teach you guys, I teach you guys what? How to get more comments. Ask them questions. Right? How to get them to, to like and tag. Just ask them to tag their friend. Share with their friend. I didn't tell them to share. I didn't tell them to like. This is important to me. I want them to comment. All right? So here, on Instagram, how about this? On Instagram, A, B, C, which one? 
I see someone say B, which is comment, right? So answer this, try to answer this. Which one, which one? Someone say A, someone say B, someone say C, right? In Instagram, actually, actually is saves. On Instagram, right now, is actually saves. And actually, there's one more. Sent or something called share. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Save is really, really simple. It's just, you cannot find a save button on Facebook unless you click the dot, dot, dot. But on Instagram, it's very, very easy for you to save the post. If you just what next to your thumb. If you guys are using the thumb, you're using your right hand on your mobile phone using Instagram, you know that the save button is actually on the what? On the right hand side. That means it's so easy to click, easier than like and comment. Right? So that's why you, Facebook or Instagram, they want you to save it so that you know whether the post is good or not. So that's step one on one. Step two is there's something called sent. You know Facebook is doing something. It's called IGDM or, or IG message. Facebook already have a lot, a lot of people using Facebook message, right? Facebook Messenger. There's a lot of you using it already, so they don't need to promote it. But on Instagram, they want to create something to replace a lot of messenger platform. They create Instagram so that you can talk, you can do voice message, you can do video message on Instagram. So that's why they have something called a send button. You can send this post to your friend. So that's why you can trigger them to what? To discuss and chat within the app. The more time they chat on the app, the longer time they spend on Instagram, the more money Facebook or Instagram make. So that's why they prioritize a lot on these two things. So that's why when we look at the post, we will make sure that, okay, people are gonna save our post or the people are gonna send this post to their friends. The more saved, the more sent we see, the more engagement we get. Because, because these two things is very, very difficult to create or trigger by what we call mesh the bot, the computer, or what we call the Instagram bots that create fake like and fake comment. But with save and send, it's very really difficult to, to, to create it. So when you have these two, you'll be easy to send your post to what we call the explore. To explore. All right? And this is something you guys need to understand. You need to understand. So this is the two things. So today I share with you two hacks. The one hack is AIDA, okay? And I show you how to get more comments and the concept between Facebook and Instagram. Now, let me tell you one more thing. Let me tell you one more thing. Okay? Do you want more? <laughs> okay? Let me know if you guys want more. Play seven, 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 if you want more. All right? So what I want to tell you now is uh, what we call, let me see, let me see which one I want to show you. Hashtag. Okay, you must have hashtag on both your Instagram and your Facebook. Okay, you can put it in the comment section. Okay, put the hashtag list on your Instagram and the Facebook comment section. After you make a post, you can put those hashtag there. Yeah, we will command around 10 to 15 hashtag. Okay, 10 to 15 hashtag. Copy those hashtag, put it there. How can I find hashtag? Yeah, how can I find it? So you can go to Google, you just type basically catch hashtag. Okay, it's very easy, there's tons of it. Then you go to here, right? Okay, and there's like hashtag for you to copy. Okay, there's tons of it. All right, you can see, even they will show you the, the top hashtag for cat. And you can copy at those that you think is important and useful and related to your niche and then put it on your comment. We put it on the comment because when you have a post, you have a comment. Then that means you have a comment on the post. People will see your post, they're gonna say, okay, someone make a comment, what it is. They will click the comment section and see what it is first. You that's why you can what? You create comment on your post. All right, so first you add comments on your or add hashtag as a comment on your, on your post. Then you also create comments on your post. What it is, just this. The question you ask, the question you ask, you can put them into the comment box. Yes. Have you seen any, any, have you seen those like Instagram page? 
Let me open some of them for you. Let's just open some of the Instagram account for you to see as well. Uh, let me just use this one. You know, on some Instagram account, you're able to see some pe some people leaving fake comment. Yeah, they're doing fake comment. Not fake comment. They, they create comment to get a lot of engage engagement. Let me let me show you some of them. Let's put like maybe Tony Warren. Okay, anyone know Tony Warren's? Okay, Tai yes, we know who, who is it is. Right? In Tony Warren's post, just click any one of them. And you scroll down, you're gonna see, you're gonna see people try to leave comment. Try to leave comment. Indeed, thank you, sharing. The goal is to love you and all leave nothing. So there are people on those comments try to trigger people to like you. See, there's a lot of people liking it. Even if hey, big tongue is people already give you some like, right? You see, I demand myself every single day. You're gonna see some people asking questions. Let me see. So this is what we call like repeated comment, but not that useful. But look, let me see if something like this. Like, okay, look at look at this. Look at this one. The secret to living is to give in. This one sentence changed my life. Love you, Tony. See, these kind of things will trigger people to read the comment and then give like, and they will trigger other replies as well. Right? This is just called inspiring. Right? See this guy. One year ago, did I come across this man? Blah 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 blah. The same. What are they doing? They're responding to the to the to the post. You can do the same as well by using yourself to leave the comment. You can ask people question. You can type more things away. You can say, okay, this is the t-shirt we have. We have four colors. Check it out, right? This is uh the testimonial we have. Look at this, right? Read this. You can trick a fake comment here, and it because when people see the post. They're gonna see the, you can see when they move the mouse here, you're gonna see like there's a thousand comments here, or there's another 400 comments here. So that's how how those people get able to write it. What it is, let me go inside and see what's happening, right? So that's the idea. That's the idea. So what I want you to do is you want to make sure that okay, your purpose of running your Instagram account or your Facebook account is to get more people what interested on your page. So how can I get more people interact? Right? So let me tell you guys these things. So that's one last topic before I go. So in our training, we cover in like four aspects. Everything I teach, I teach in these four aspects. The first one is theory. The second one is strategy. Okay. And then we have like tactics. And then we have tools. Okay. We always, always follow this, what we call logic, when we try to do something. Uh, yes, if you if you know, you've heard of it before. Let me, I have shared this before in my five-day training or in my previous training. If you know this, let me give you some example. Let's say, hey, I want to what? I want to get rich. Okay, you want to what? You want to start a business. You want to start a business. Okay, then what kind of business should I start? Then you need to look for strategy. When you look for strategy, you know, okay, I want to do e-commerce. Okay. Oh, what kind of tactics should I do? Oh, tactics, maybe I do drop shipping, right? And then what kind of tools do I need? Then you just like Shopify, you know, uh, Shopify, and then all the other software that you need, right? Facebook ad. That you need when you think like this so that you know what you need a lot of people they just focus oh i want to do drop shipping no you will not work if you're doing drop shipping it's what is drop shipping if you do not know the bigger things about drop shipping is actually part of e-commerce then you need to think like an e-commerce guy how do they run the store and then you use drop shipping as just one of the tactics so you will not miss out other tactics that can help you build a successful e-commerce store and because you're running an e-commerce store what is up on top of it on top of it is to start a business. So you need to run your e-commerce store like a real business, not like a get rich quick scam, not like something that steal money and disappear. You run it like a real business, then what's a real business? You need to have limited company, you have a limited LLC, you need to have accountants, you need to have a, you need to have a team, right? You need to have like people running a business, not just you doing everything. things. So that's what we call the four aspects, the TSTD strategy, the TSTD. You need to use this to think about whether it will work or not. So on the other hand, let's say I want to do, yeah, I want to start e-commerce. Okay, the theory is I want to start e-commerce. So what do I do? There's a lot of things. There's something called a print on demand. You're selling T-shirts. There's like one polar store, right? There's general store, and there's like niche store. Right? There's so many things you can do in different kinds of strategy. So which strategy should I do first? For me, I would say as a beginner, you should do niche store first. That's why we pick niche store. We teach only niche store. This is easier, and then 
and there's more like investment instead of spending so much money create one product store or so many time testing different random product and you cannot get returning customer right so that's why after you know you're doing niche store what do you do you, you're gonna find tactics that help you to build a niche store how to do niche research how to do competitive research how to find niche related products right this and that so this is the really important things the concept you need to know a lot of people they focus on this only these two parts so many people they lose money because they only focus on tactics and tools for example there's someone selling you a software selling a software they claim that this software can kill you spy product right that's what you think this tools gonna make me rich no you find a software that like hundred thousand of people using it so you the product that he recommend to you can be saturated because you only have the tools you think this tool is going to solve the problem no you need to have what you need to have the tactics to use it how can i use this method this strategy to be good for example here's a pen or here's a pencil right a pencil on you can be what can be something to write on a paper it can be job notes but for another guy it can be what to make money you can sell this pen to make money you can use this pen to do what to write a book to write a video like harry potter right to write some book that can sell or to john rick it can be a pen to kill people it can be a weapon so the same tools is what is neutral you just have the tools doesn't mean you can get you're gonna get rich because you lack of tactics how can you use it what kind of strategy you're gonna use it just like kung fu there's a knife you can use the knife to chop vegetable or you can use a knife to kill people or you can use a knife to hunt right this is tactics and how about strategy which is your direction how I gonna use this if I pick to use the knife to be a chef I'm gonna cook something I'm gonna be a really good chef then your direction will be what you're gonna lean in towards how to learn how to cook right and your fear is how can I start a restaurant and I become a chef I'm using knife to give the best food I create right then let me go into loud today today we cover about what organic traffic okay organic traffic how what's the concept behind it the concept the fear is what you want to get more get more engagement your main target is to get more engagement as you not your strategy is to get more engagement what you want is to what you get more traffic right you want pe more people to go to your website that's your main purpose right so my purpose is to get more people to my website so how can i get more purpose then you need to know in different channel different social media will have their own way of getting more engagement for example on facebook instagram the more engagement you have the more traffic facebook gonna send it to you so you understand different platforms gonna have different things the tiktok is different on tiktok you want tiktok to show more to people you need to make sure that people watch your whole video the more time people spend it on your video the more chance this video gonna reach to more people so different platform will have different strategy the same on youtube the YouTube the same on YouTube they want more people to read to watch all the whole video so your purpose is not to get more engagement your purpose is to let people finish the whole video you see so different strategy different difference so for us your strategy is to get more engagement so what's the tactics what's the tactics so get more comment how do can I get more comment ask for it give more response right use the AIDA right get people attention desire and the action right and what kind of tools do I use right you can use what very easy you just use comment you use Facebook post Okay, and then you also use image posts, right? You use video posts, right? You use different different posts to create different contents around your Facebook, plus the strategy you are using. Then that's how you can get more engagement, right? So whenever you guys make any action, when you guys try to learn something new, please use this thinking and logic behind. Don't when someone go to you, hey, buy this now. This software is so good, right? Then you buy it and then you don't know how to use it, or, or someone sell your tactics, hey, hey. This is very, very good. We're teaching you how to do a one page or one product store. This one product store is so good that you're going to make you more money. Then you only know, okay, this one product store is actually just part of the tactics or part of a strategy. He or she didn't tell you the whole business about e-commerce. He don't even tell you how to run a team. If you learn from this guy, you will reach the threshold. You will reach the bottleneck really, really quick because this guy cannot teach you the whole system. If you want to learn something, Go ahead and learn from someone. Understand the whole picture of all TSTT. If this guy only teach you tools, you will fail. If this guy only teach you tactics, you will fail again. If this guy only tell you strategy, you will also fail. Because you do not know the theory. Making money is not just about the right tools or not just the right tactics. It's about from inside. 
are you really someone believe that are you believing that you are rich this is the part people who are rich they always teach you something called mindset if you go ahead to listen to the interview about the rich people they always say you some things like okay you need to work hard okay you need to want you want to serve the whole humanity you need to have a big heart a big dream right a big target but you know for you guys your target is what oh my target is to make ten thousand dollars i want to make ten thousand dollars that's your target but for those people like elon musk alibaba jack ma what do they say they want to change the world they want to go to mars they want to cure the diseases i want to have vaccine like 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 a uh, 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 bill gates i want to cure malaria that's their target how about you you don't even have a big fear in your heart what you're going to take action we only focus on money when you only want money from your customer your customer knowing i've seen so many e-commerce stores so many guru they just want the money they ship the i they, they, they get the money and then they don't even ship the item when they ship the item they don't even refund or do all this crazy stuff they just get the money and then disappear. They shut down their store and move on with another store and keep scamming people money. Karma. What comes around goes around. Whatever you've done to someone, it's going to go back to you. The same things here. Okay. The bad guy will always become the bad guy. Even though you have so much money right now, but at the end, you will not live happily because what you have done have harmed a lot of people. So this is the reason why we created Econ Club. The reason why we created the YNC Academy. We are here to show you the right way to run a business. The right way to be a better person. You are not need. You're not. You're not a must to become an a, 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 a entrepreneur. But if you want to become it, you must have the heart to serve. You must go through those ups and downs. Because you cannot go through it. You are just the usual ninety nine percent of people on earth. That is a slave. That is a follower for the entrepreneur. Okay, look at the company right now you're working in there's only one boss and the boss is the one paying you salary and you're the one working for him because he's the one who is the who have a dream who is a leader and you are the one that do not want to break your nine to five you're the one that do not want to step out of a comfort zone and that's the reason why people fail they only learn the tools that they can think it will make them rich no you need to step out you can you should break your mindset of being nine to five you should switch it to being an entrepreneur all right so someone asked if lifestyle niche like t-shirt can do tiktok uh lifestyle niche like t-shirt can do tiktok it depends on what kind of t-shirt you are creating okay on tiktok it's more like like 10 15 seconds of video that if your t-shirt is not appealing to them high chance that it will not work okay and you also need to know that on tiktok most people are like like young age they're not someone who are really really like want something that is like stable they want something that quick and easy so usually on tiktok i would say general store work better on tiktok because they just trigger them to buy this and that all right so let me see any question all right good so i see there's not much question so uh let me see, tell you guys something first uh right now right now we are actually trying to help more people to start the e-commerce store right so if you get here let me show you my booking page so you can see this is my canada actually this is my canada uh we are having like crazy crazy amount of people booking the call to talk to me or talk to my team you can see just today i've done my call with four people two more and then three guys and on friday that's like like overlapping like six people or seven people are going to talk to so right now we are opening more and more slots that you guys can talk to me or my team to see if you can improve your store or improve or show you more thing about e-commerce so if you interested and talk to me and learn our system or want to talk to me or my team send a message to my facebook you can see the link there say ecom and then i will follow up with you see if you're suitable for me to have a call with you so you see this is real this is real booking this is just this week and next week we have like another 10 to 20 call and this is like let's like organic people just want to talk to us and want to have a call with us about what we're going want to do and how we can help them in q4 right right now is the best time for you guys to start the e-commerce business right now it's the best time for you guys to prepare your store what it means is i want you guys to at least at least under watch all my previous training or just talk to, my, talk to us we give you a step-by-step -step system to set up a store and how you can move on because in q4 it will be just like october november and december just three months and then now it's kind of like the last week of august there may only one month left then you're going to start the q4 
And if you do not have enough time to set up a store to learn the whole system, you will just miss the queue for again. And then you're gonna wait another like kind of one whole year before the next queue for arrive. And because in queue for your return on sales will be way higher than in the other other seasons. So if you miss this chance, your money invested will be way lower. The same. When Bitcoin is booming, you invest earlier, you're going to make all the profits. If right now you put your money on Bitcoin, the scalability is way lower. This is already like $50,000 right now. You put the money there, it's so hard for it to double the money to like 100K. But if you invested like one year ago when it's just like $10,000, where I invested, okay, I would make like five times return. And that's the reason why the timing is really important for you guys to start a business, right? So grab the chance, book a call with us, send a message to my team and my team will follow up with you and see if your best fit, right? So today I've done a training on organic traffic, including how you can get more engagement, how you can get more reach. So this concept is something really, really important. I want you guys to try to execute. So from now on, try to use it on your Facebook page, on your Instagram account. You can also use it on your every single daily post as well. The more engagement you have, the more people can see your post. The more people see your post, the higher chance that the people want to click and go to your website. All right? So that's it. That's it for today's sharing. Uh, let me see other question. I have created my LLC based on your recommendation. First way, how do you get your PayPal business completed with the SSL and then do it as your only program? So, yep, you need to get your IDIA on your PayPal. Okay, you can just talk to PayPal. They can actually let you to put the EIA number. Or you can just ask them, hey, uh, I want to set this up. How can I do? Usually, it will give you the, uh, the idea how to do it. For us, I open my PayPal account without the SSM. I just put a random number there. They still allow you to create a PayPal first. Only when they start to limit your account, then you can give them the idea, the ITIA number. All right? Let me see. How do you get rich on IG? My post and rich is very, very real account. B. So one of the reasons why you do not get enough reach on your account is just because of your post is not good. You are not using hashtag. That's the main reason. Or your account got with what we call uh, Instagram limited your account. They think that your account is not high quality. You have been posting things that's trigger people's emotion. That's why they just, that's not good. And they, they ban your account. Okay, the easiest way is just post high quality content. Okay, the content that is already went viral on other people's account, then you copy and paste it, then that's a higher chance for you to get more reach. All right? So that's it. That's it for today. So thanks everyone for hopping on for today's training. If you learn a lot, give me one last round of 777. I want to see like 100 comments here in the chat box before I go so that more people are going to see this post. Other than that, see you guys tomorrow. If you guys are from the Entrepreneurs Club, we're going to cover more things about investment to, for passive income. And if you are not in our, in our group, you can join our Friday's night training. We cover up our things about mindset and uh, spirituality to help you to master what we call the how you can use your subconscious to create wealth and how you can master the game of life. All right. So thanks everyone for hopping on. See you guys later next week, the same time, Econ Club. If you want to get more training or what you want to do, just search. I don't know, Yik Chen on Google, you're going to see our training and all these things or go to YouTube and search Yik Chen as well. You're going to find our training there. All right. So that's it for today. Have a good day, have a good night, and see you guys uh, next week at the same time. Bye-bye. So 777 in the comment box.